Hey everyone, welcome to Willow's Whimsy. Thanks for tuning in. This is Face Mask Friday. And I got my Boxy Charm, which um, I'll put the link to that unboxing right up here. Um, one of the things I got was this Elemis Super Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. It's a $35 value. This is it. I'll put a picture somewhere up in here so you can see it closer. Uh, what it says on the back is, feed the skin with this versatile super green mask, formulated with avocado and broccoli seed oils, rich in omega fatty acids to help support the skin's moisture barrier. Vitamin C and passion fruit acids help brighten for a fresh looking complexion. Apply the mask twice weekly on cleansed skin. A slight tingling may occur while the mask works its magic. Remove after 10 minutes with a damp, dark cloth. Um, got my little silicone brush here. I will tell you that I use avocado, just organic, raw avocado, right from the fruit um, on my face and my scalp all the time. It is so good for your skin. Um, that's where those fatty acids that they talk about are coming from. They're amazing. Um, just putting just plain avocado on my face without adding like a little shea butter or honey or anything else, I will wipe it off and my skin will just look, it just looks healthier after 10 minutes with just plain avocado. So we'll see what this baby does. You know what this reminds me of, the smell? I did a mask, um, I'm trying to remember, it, oh, Skin Food has a mask that smells just like this one, and I love it, it's a clay mask. I don't know if this one's going to dry down, or if it just stays kind of on your face like, like a moisturizer. You know what the smell actually reminds me a lot of is, um, for those of you who remember Noxzema, it smells like Noxzema. I've done another mask that smelled like Noxzema. I don't remember which one it was. And I always do my neck like I always tell you guys. For anyone young who's watching my videos, take care of your skin now. You won't have this stuff here that I have. You will eventually, but I mean, you will prolong it. I believe that with protection from the sun and drinking plenty of water and not doing things like smoking and drinking to excess. All the things I did, because for some reason I seem to think that that was cool. And then I just put the last little bit on with my fingers. And I always go back over it and just kind of work it in after using the silicone brush, face mask brush. Okay, so this smells great. It feels great on my skin. I'm not feeling irritated at all. I am feeling the tingling effect that they talked about just a little bit. So I'm going to keep this on for 10 minutes and then I will be back to tell you how it's feeling after 10 minutes, and then we will do a um, final thoughts. All right, thanks. So I've had it on for about 10 minutes. Um, it does start to absorb into your skin. It does dry down, but not hard like a clay mask. It's, it's tacky. Um, still smells great. This feels great. So I'm really excited to see once I get this off my skin, uh, the result. So I'll be right back with that, you guys. All right, so actually I uh, was not able to do the wrap-up 
right away for this video. So just wanted to let you know I really do like uh, this face mask. I feel that uh, the one I did last week, the Origins one, left my skin so deeply moisturized. It felt so fantastic that I almost think any mask that I do soon after and review isn't going to live up to that. Uh, it kind of set the bar. Now this is a wonderful face mask. My skin looked great. It felt soft. Uh, I would not say deeply moisturizing though. It didn't dry it out. I like this mask. Would I spend the money on it? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, probably not, to be quite honest. I liked it. I don't have anything against it. I just don't think it had that wow factor that I look for in a mask as far as, you know, I look at things like I do consider fragrance and I do uh, want to feel that dewy, just plump, fresh, you know, wonderful feeling and it was good, but it just wasn't wow. So thank you, you guys, for tuning in. I will have my BoxyCharm tomorrow, and uh, I did get this mask in my BoxyCharm, so you'll see it tomorrow in greater detail. Thanks. Bye.